Well, I'm going to tell you one thing, sweetheart. I have no intention of getting sick. And I hope you're doing everything to stop yourself from getting sick too. Everything like dressing for the weather and preparing your body to receive the nutrition it needs to build up your immune system. That's another thing. Listen to what Lynn has to say. And listen, I want to... I want to ask your apology. I don't have the time to edit anymore right now because I'm going to school, but I want you to get this important information. Hi, uh, a lot of people are getting very concerned about uh, how bad monkeypox is uh, going to be or how bad the next epidemic might be. And now they're talking about polio, uh, you know, but for the most part, um, uh, if you're in Christ, you don't need to fear. You'll be okay. But God also wants you to take some precautions, I'm sure. And some of those precautions are as easy as some vitamins that you can uh, take to keep you uh, uh, healthy. And there uh, are uh, some pictures I have sent uh, that uh, are a quick reminder of what you can take. It doesn't have to be these particular brands, uh, and everyone might want to use a different uh, milligram. Everyone has a different thing in their mind, but this is what I use per day. And um, the first line of uh, vitamins you, you should absolutely, absolutely have in uh, these days with all this stuff going around is vitamin C, vitamin D. I take it with a D3 with a K2 with it, but the K2 is not necessary, but that is what I take. Uh, and the two things you really, really need to know about is Quercetin, and that's spelled Q U E R C E T I N, and zinc, Z I N C. Now, these two are really important, and here's why they're important. Um, it takes uh, a lot for uh, a, a virus to dock onto a cell, and so that. What you're doing is you're preventing this virus from docking onto your cells. That's what quercetin does. And um, so if you take it in conjunction with zinc, zinc allows that to get into your system properly. So you are effectively stopping the transmission to get into your body, into your cells. So, uh, again, you want uh, to make sure you take zinc with quercetin, you want to take uh, the D3, and you want to take the C. That's your first line of defense. Those are absolute musts every day. And uh, they help with infections. They help with everything. They, as a matter of fact, they found with COVID uh, patients that all the people who wound up getting really sick in the hospital were all the people who didn't have D in their system. And by the way, the people who don't have D in the system are probably about 95% of the public. I, I don't know what happened to the sun recently, but it doesn't seem to be pumping out what, what we need. And uh, almost every person, if they were to go and get D levels checked, I bet they would find out they have uh, insufficient amounts. Um, Anyhow, um, uh, all this advice, by the way, of course, check with your doctor and make sure it's okay for you, but uh, this is what I am thinking. Okay, then there is a second uh, level of uh, things, uh, vitamins uh, that are very helpful, help with infection, not uh, going into, etc. cetera. Uh, NAC, uh, alpha lipid folic acid, and glucosion, and I hope I pronounced those uh, right, but that's, that's the second level, which are real helpful to keep down infections and things of that nature. I take those daily as well. Um, okay, some people have trouble sleeping at night and have a lot of problems in that area. If you get uh, something um, called melatonin, 
Uh, they're finding out that, believe it or not, melatonin uh, is actually helpful so uh, in not getting COVID. And unfortunately, I don't quite remember what I read, but that's one of the benefits to it as well. It helps you sleep, and what you do is you get the dissolvable type that goes right under your tongue. You suck on it, and then you go to sleep uh, immediately. Uh, I take uh, the 10 milligrams, uh, and sometimes even two, but most people only need about three MGs to fall asleep. Uh, uh, but if uh, you're a tough cookie, then maybe you might need what I need. I don't know. Uh, I would uh, start out with lower amounts uh, just to test it. So, Okay, and then the uh, one thing that I have taken for years is called colloidal silver. And colloidal silver is, uh, if you remember back in the days with the kings and the queens, and, and uh, they never seemed to get sick. And it was because they were always sucking on their spoons and forks that were made out of silver. And uh, the peasants didn't have silver, but uh, this particular colloidal silver is made uh, with a little electricity going through uh, a battery and into distilled water and and a piece of silver that hangs in that water. It's, uh, there's YouTube videos all over the place, and you can easily make a colloidal silver. Uh, yes, there are extreme Warning that you will turn blue if you take too much of this uh, stuff. Well, too much turned out to be about two gallons a day. Uh, so just don't take two gallons a day, and I think you'll be okay. I'm being facetious. Uh, in other words, you would take maybe uh, three tablespoons a day if, if, let's say, you think you're catching a cold or something like that. And you can also get this kind of stuff uh, at uh, pharmacies, uh, uh, online places, uh, but if you think you've been uh, around anyone that's had some kind of uh, cold or, or germs you don't want to get in your system, I usually will take two or three tablespoons a day just to make sure that it doesn't lodge in me, and then I'll go a, an additional couple days past that to make sure it's not there. Um, and when you are sick, um, if you start taking it, it really, really helps, and it, it, it keeps down, that you get well a lot faster. Um, anyhow, those are helpful hints, and I just think that uh, that uh, you might want to try some of these items. Uh, they're uh, relatively cheap, and um, they can really help you in these times. Uh, also, um, um, that's about it. I guess that's it. So thank you very much for listening. Thank you, Liz. <laughs>